Hey guys, today we are in Townsend, Tennessee at the Apple Valley Cafe. Nice little complex they have here. We've heard the locals love this place, read some great reviews on TripAdvisor. We've never been here, so we decided to make the little drive out here. I forget how many miles it was. It was, what, 15, 16 miles from Pigeon Forge? But let's go in and see how good it is. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Plenty of outside seating if you don't want to sit inside. There's Bobby enjoying a little bit of it. Got the front and it goes all the way around to this side. Let's go take a look. A lot more back in there and there's a couple shops. Smoky Mountain Outdoor Center and the General Store. So you can spend a few hours out here. When you walk in, there's Plenty of seating in here. Plenty outside. You go up and you order it, and then they bring it out to you. Let's look at the menu here at the Apple Valley Cafe in Townsend, Tennessee. Start off with the burgers. Serve with lettuce, tomato, pickle, and onions. Grand Godfather. Godfather, Dad's Double Stack. Bombs, third pound, and a garden burger. Sandwiches, and fish, grilled chicken, chicken salad, fried chicken, and a black bear BLT. Classic and barbecue. This is our barbecue is house smoked with a scratch made barbecue sauce. Their famous house slow cooked pulled pork, a brisket plate, a fried Nathan's hot dog, chili bowl, Beer garden nachos, fresh salads, chef salad, apple valley salad. Here are your sides. This is what they're famous for here. Their side winder fries. It says they're thick cut curly fries with house breading and deep fried to perfection. Some fruit, homemade cold slaw, side salad, and baked mac and cheese. Kids menu. They have milkshakes, fountain drinks for $2.39, seasonal beer. I almost missed this. Pro tip, how your patty or sandwich. So you can add bacon, jalapeno, pimento cheese, fried egg, bacon jam, brisket, mac and cheese, all kind of stuff to any burger or sandwich. Let's look at the dessert starting off with these massive cinnamon rolls. Streusel cheesecake. Uh, brownie. Looks like a Danish in there. And they also have soup, beef and cabbage, and tomato. All right, guys, we got a sampling of all kind of things. Here's the pulled pork with the sidewinder fries. Looks coleslaw to put on there. We had to get this. This is a deep fried Nathan's hot dog. Never had a hot dog deep fried. We had them put some of their homemade chili on there, and we added some onions and some, some mustard. But Bobby, look at that fish sandwich. I know. And you say it was coated with potato chips? It's got yeah, potato chips. Tempura batter with potato chips. I might just try it. Deep of that. fried in tempura batter. I'm gonna try that fish by itself. And then with potato chip coating. Looks nice and flaky though. It does. It's a nice piece of fish. I like the coating that's on here. You like that? Can you taste the potato chips in it? Kind of can see, I can see them. You can see the potato chips I mean, all through there. You can't tell they're really potato chips, I don't think, but it's a good crust. It almost tastes to me like I'm doing silvers in a way, but a lot better. Not greasy or anything, <laughs> but that flavor of the coating. But the fish is like you saw it. It's nice. You've got to try fish. it with all the stuff on it. Okay, so we'll pause this baby. I'll put this together and we'll try it. All right, go ahead and cut it. See the steam coming off of that. You 
sure it would have been good on this. Maybe a pickle. I could have got okay. pickles. I told them no pickles. Like I said, when I took that first bite, it was that's a nice piece of fish. I like the crust on it. It's a nice bun. And the lettuce and tomatoes are fresh. Okay, now don't forget about well, yeah, the homemade coleslaw. coleslaw. We got so many different trays, I think we needed to get a bigger table. Yeah, we did. We sat at too small of a <laughs> table. Well, we wasn't planning on ordering a hot dog. No, we, we weren't. You had the homemade coleslaw. What do you think? Yeah, you could definitely tell it was homemade. It was lightly uh, dressing with mayonnaise. So it wasn't overly thick or anything. It was just perfect. It was only $1.99 yeah. too. You cannot beat that deep fried. Deep fried. Nathan's beef hot dog. Nice soft bun. Decent sized bun. That's, that's a big bun. Homemade chili. Being deep fried. It gives it a little crispier taste to it. I had some of the chili, big pieces of beef in there. Added to it with the onions. Mm -hmm. And mustard. this chili does have beans. Yep, it does have beans. I'm gonna try one more bite for you guys. That's excellent chili. So you could probably come in. It's got a little spice to it. So you come out here. I think chili was on the menu, a chili bowl or something. That's what you would get. It's great on a hot dog. Decent size hot dog, for five dollars. Mm -hmm. It's a lot there. It is. They, let's look at their famous. Let me read what it says. Our famous house slow cooked pulled pork served on a bun. I did read on TripAdvisor. Some people think this is the best pulled pork they ever got. They gave me a nice proportion on there. Didn't Char they? on there. Yeah, there's a lot in there. Let's just try. I'm gonna try this by itself. I like this. I like, I like like the burnt ends and stuff. That's to me almost like that. That pulled pork by itself has an excellent smoke. It really takes the smoke in there. But it's got this little char, so it's got that little crispiness to that part. I'm gonna put a little bit of barbecue sauce on this section. And this, they make this here. And we'll try to bite into there. It's nice and tender, and that barbecue sauce tastes pretty sweet when I bit into it. I like it. Just try this one out there. Definitely, if you like smoke, you can taste the smoke in that. And with the, this barbecue sauce with the sweet taste, just blends well. Some people say it's the best barbecue you've ever had. I don't know if I can go that far because I've had some great barbecue, but it's it's excellent. Sidewinder fries. Those are nice and crispy. Nice complement to the sandwich. They have a four or five, but coleslaw. Bobby, I like what this coleslaw looks mm -hmm. like. Great meal. It's a lot of food. So together, that would be $12. I added this with this was $8.99. That's worth $12. Guys, I forgot to put the coleslaw on here. Let's try it with that. That's even better. With that crunch of that coleslaw and the sweetness of the barbecue sauce, that's the way to eat it. Eat it with the coleslaw. And I don't always put coleslaw on pork sandwich. This one, recommended. Bobby, I'm gonna take a little bite of this monstrous <laughs> dish. That has an awesome crunch to that. And the flavor with the coldness of the lettuce on there. It's a nice piece of fish. Mm -hmm. And it's that is that could be split. Two people. Yeah, I was thinking that we could have split yeah, No way you're going to be able to eat that. I don't know if I could eat that whole thing. I don't know if I could well, eat this I, whole pork pork. I may take the bread off and, and not waste the fish. That's what I would do. Okay, so I'm going to try to get some of that coleslaw. And get it all. Barbecue. Try it. That's very tender. I like that sweet barbecue sauce. You said they made that here, right? Yep. It's good. And, and they the smoked that barbecue here also. Oh, yeah. You can really taste the smoke flavor in that. What do you think? We've had a lot of barbecues. Is that up there? Let's look at the receipt here at the Apple Valley Cafe. Pulled pork, $8.99 with the Sidewinder fries for $2.99. With some of their homemade coleslaw, $1.99. Fish sandwich, $9.99. And a deep fried hot dog. Bobby got a fountain drink and I got a water. Grand total, $34.51. Well, we couldn't finish all that food. We're going to take some of it back. But we couldn't pass up the desserts either. They just look too good. And they're famous for the fried apple pie. Okay, so I'm gonna try the um, 
the brownie. This is all made here. See that? Let's see. It's Let's like take a, a turtle, look at it. I think. It has the caramel in there. Yeah. See that? I do see it. That chocolate icing, you can tell it's homemade. And then the caramel. There, hold it right brownie. there. Let's take a look. And it's cold. I really like this. The icing is delicious. Well, you know I love brownies. And guys, I bet you I threw a lot of you for a loop. We ordered a fried pie, and I showed you the cinnamon rolls up there. I know. But we read this is, and it's even on the sign. This is what they're famous for. It's on the sign out there. It says fried pie, so we had to get this. I'll be splitting it open. Let's take a look at the filling inside. And we like the fried pies because they come from the Amish country. We get them all the time. I don't know which one I like better. The apples in there are cooked through a little bit of the cinnamon crust. I think this would be good hot with some vanilla ice cream. But it just depends on what you want. This is a little richer, but just get them both. Well, I'm gonna try them both here in a second because I, I gotta taste those. They just look too good. Okay, there we go. Definitely tell it's fried, nice and crisp. Bobby's 100% right cinnamon taste the, and the apples done just right nice and flaky crust mm -hmm. this looks amazing to me nice and cold now that is a brownie you're dead on on that icing mm -hmm. that's some rich chocolate icing mm -hmm. I think well you can tell it's, it's just homemade yeah. it's, that it's is just, just so good. silky on there on the now, top too. both these are good but for me I'm getting this more than I am the fried pie. We got a couple desserts. I'll show you the price of those. The fried pie, $2.99. And a brownie, $8.76. Well guys, we're about ready to head out of the Apple Valley Cafe. What did you think about it, Bobby? First I wanted to say when we were coming out here, the view was beautiful, looking at the mountains and everything. I just had to add that in, just because it was so pretty out in this area. So the fish that I got was a nice size, filled that whole piece of bread, didn't it? And it was nice and white fish. It was flaky. I like how they put the chips on that after they, you know, they battered yeah, it. Yeah, made it crunchier. The it was nice and crunchy. Um, the lettuce and tomatoes were fresh. And the coleslaw, I liked it. It wasn't overly creamy. It was it was just right, I think. It was, it was just uh, like a mild tasting mm -hmm. mayonnaise. And the desserts. You couldn't decide which one you wanted to get. We no. both couldn't decide, so we just decided to get them both. Yeah, What'd I'm you glad think? we got them both. If you wanted um, a richer dessert, you would go with the brownie. That icing on there was really... Some of the best like, icing we've yeah, had. Yeah, it was. It was. You could tell it was homemade. And the brownie was nice and moist. They had the caramel on it. And then the pie, the apples were done inside and a little bit of cinnamon. Either way, you would have picked great choices we threw you guys for a loop not getting the cinnamon roll but it was tough i should go back in there and get one take one with me the famous pulled pork sandwich lived up to its name it's good loved it i mean plenty on there the uh, barbecue sauce homemade kind of sweet taste a lot of smoky taste on there if you like smoky yeah. taste barbecue you would love that sidewinder fries nice and crisp the hot dog deep fried never had it that way liked it like the chili that was on it that was a homemade chili sauce and you can buy that at the chili bowl now before i forget they sell beer in there so if you guys want to get a drink they do have that if you're over 21 so it was a good experience i'm glad we came out uh you could go to the shop they have a uh, sporting shop beside it it's worth a drive out here so if you like this video give us a thumbs up and subscribe yeah so until we meet again j, j and b have left the building